in honor of that girl and that very day that we got the text message, I looked at my team and I said, we need to build something. And so we had the idea for crisis text line. It would be kind of like 911, um, where you could text in with any kind of a problem, and we would connect you with counselors 24-7. What's great about this, and this was my, my hunch, my hunch was that it's private, right? Nobody hears you talking on the phone. You could be sitting at a lunch table being bullied in that moment. And you're not going to call 911 because the other kids would hear you, but you might text and say, like, this is awful. What do I do? So-and-so just said this to me. You know, when you go into a bathroom stall, if you call, the kid in the stall next to you might hear you. But if you're texting, it's, it's actually really private. So the hunch was that maybe it would be better because it would be private. The other hunch was that maybe kids would really tell us what was going on because on the phone you get hyperventilating crying. You get the word like every three words. Um, It can sometimes be hard to just understand a fact pattern or what's going on with a kid. But by text, when you say, are you coming home? The kid will say, yes, 6 p.m. You know, it's very clear, objective information. And the other thing that we thought about counseling by text was that we could do long-term engagement. Because you grab their mobile numbers, and then we could go back out to them in a few days saying, are you okay? Did you go to your principal like we suggested? You know, are you, are you taking your medication like we suggested? So we built it, and it launched on August 1st. And um, this is the first public forum where I'm sharing the early results. We thought that we would hit 1,000 users in mid-November. We just turned it on very quietly, actually, and only in Chicago and El Paso. You can text it from anywhere in the United States. The number is 741-741. But we launched with a little bit like stickers on some bathrooms in Chicago and El Paso. So we thought 1,000 users in November. We crossed 3,000 users early last week. (laughs) But the part that's more exciting is that we've had already more than 100 active rescues. An active rescue is when there's a threat of imminent harm and we need to send police or EMTs to the home. That's at a rate of about 3%. And that is 2x higher than other hotlines and phone lines. That we kids are telling us things quickly and objectively. And that means we've saved over 100 lives. And I brought my iPad out here because I wanted to read to you an email that literally came to me yesterday. Um, uh, actually, it was a text, obviously. But it was an email from the team that said, I want, we want to share this to you. A kid texted in saying, in September, I sent you guys messages. I don't know if you remember. Obviously, the word you is just the letter U. I don't know if you remember. I was getting bullied, and I took some pills. I attempted suicide. I was taken to the hospital. Afterwards, I was diagnosed with the depression, so I want to thank you guys because you guys saved my life. 